So I'd like to ask uh, the voices, right, of the show, of the film, how it felt to bring your cultural identity to the big screen in that capacity. It's uh, my um, my Pali Patwa, maybe you better read Pali Patwa. So my my Pali Patwa, maybe you better read Pali Patwa. But Pardon? Oui. Patwa Mim. It's 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 nice to to have. I was going to say a feature, a, 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 an artistic event that, that, that represents you, represents your, 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 your background, where you're from, uh, uh, the, the thing that's in, in your DNA, which is you, um, you know, the way my, my, my father talked to me, the way my mother talked to me, the way that every now and then when I have the courage, I talk to my children, you know. Um, uh, but but it's, it, it's not... It's not being self-conscious about it. So uh, with my character, he goes, you know, he goes, he goes from very, very posh to to say, "Oh man, do the thing, no?" Yeah. So, so he, he 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 fluctuates, and it's great, and it's nice to be given the opportunity to do that. But but most of all, it's it's nice to see myself represented on, you know, even in animation, it's brilliant. I play Leto. My favorite is the male Bayesian character. He is my favorite. He was so Bajan. He was Bajan to his heart and soul. He was like, when I could go long back, I know this. But I just, that tickled me so much because the Jamaican accent, um, all the accents work, they're authentic. Yeah. It's not an American actor trying to do a West Indian accent. It is our accent that we have that comes from us, that we born with, that belong to win. And that, when I heard that, I was like, yes. When little kids, when our kids and teenagers and so on watch this, and they can identify immediately, without any hesitation, that's my country, that's my accent. They look like me. These are they're, they're people of color, black people, all of us, that, excited me. That really warmed me and I didn't get to watch it again today but last night I'm gonna watch it I'm gonna watch that over and over and over again because I just I, I really I am so, I'm proud to be a part of something like this and I'm very thankful and I'm glad that y'all enjoyed it and I cannot wait because I know that this is gonna get picked up and I cannot wait to do all the other series of what is going to happen beyond this pilot. I think it's essential uh, for people to be able to look at something on a screen or something within the media and actually see or hear their own voice, even when it comes to, I think, writers, somebody writing, for instance, and, and you know you read it, and you can tell them just reading it that it is a Trinidadian writer or it is this kind of writer, you know? Um, so for me, it's really important, and me, for me, that's what I try to also bring to the role. Even though my character specifically was supposed to be ambitiously striving to be in a, the upper echelons of their society, so therefore he speaks with somewhat of a, I guess, a slightly nuanced point, I don't know. Um, but, you know, just keeping the roots of, of, of how we speak and everything, to me that's really important because like, like Joseph and like Alison said, you know, it, it actually just makes you feel something within yourself. Even you speaking it while doing it, you know, there's just something that makes you feel like, oh shit, I don't have to actually, I don't actually have to speak in somebody else's accent, so it actually makes it quite comfortable quite accessible for me and therefore for you and it becomes relatable for everybody in that way.